Welcome back WD Old Coin, Top 5 Most Valuable USA 1 Cent Penny Coins Let's Go Start It. Today we're diving into a small but fascinating piece of American history, the 1962 D. Lincoln Cent, a coin you've probably seen countless times. But did you know it might hold more value than just a penny? Let's uncover the history, value, and hidden potential of this little copper wonder. The 1962 D. Lincoln Cent was minted in Denver, Colorado, a key branch of the United States Mint. It belongs to the iconic Lincoln Cent series, first introduced in 1909 to commemorate the 100th anniversary of President Abraham Lincoln's birth. By 1962, the Lincoln Cent had become a staple in American currency, representing not only the legacy of one of America's greatest presidents but also the nation's economic stability. 1962 was a significant year in American history, marked by the Cold War tensions and the rise of the civil rights movement. This humble penny was a silent witness to the social and political changes of its time. So, why was the 1962 D. Lincoln cent minted in such large numbers? In the early 1960s, the U.S. Mint produced billions of cents to keep up with the growing demand from an expanding economy and population. The Denver Mint struck approximately 1.79 billion Lincoln cents in 1962, making it a common coin in circulation. The D-Mint mark under the date indicates it was produced at the Denver Mint, one of the primary facilities responsible for U.S. coinage. Its production was intended to meet everyday transactional needs, from buying groceries to paying bus fares. Now let's talk value. Is the 1962 D. Lincoln cent really worth more than a penny? In most cases the answer is, yes really. Given the high mintage numbers, this coin is considered quite common. In average circulated condition, it typically sells for around $10 to $7,500, a small premium over its face value. However, things change a bit if your 1962 D cent is in uncirculated or mint state condition. High-grade examples, especially those graded MS-65 or higher by a professional grading service, can fetch anywhere from $50 to $8,000. But for a truly exceptional specimen with a unique error or in superb condition, the value could go up to $8,500 or even higher. But what makes a 1962 D Lincoln cent valuable? Rarity and condition are key factors. While most of these pennies are not rare, certain errors or unique varieties, such as a double die or a repunched mint mark, can significantly increase their value. For instance, a 1962 D Lincoln cent with a noticeable doubling in the date or lettering, known as a double die error, could be worth up to $1,000 or more, depending on the extent and clarity of the error. So, should you keep or sell your 1962 D Lincoln cent? If you have one in great condition or with a rare error, it might be worth holding onto or getting professionally graded. However, for most people, these coins are more valuable for their history and sentimental value than for any significant financial return. Next up. Today we're examining the 1980 Lincoln cent, a coin you might just have in your pocket right now. Is this penny just loose change or could it be a future collectible? Let's find out. The 1980 Lincoln Cent with no mint mark was produced at the Philadelphia Mint. It's a member of the Lincoln Memorial Cent series, which ran from 1959 to 2008. This series was created to commemorate the 150th anniversary of Abraham Lincoln's birth and features the famous image of the Lincoln Memorial on the reverse side. In 1980, America was in the midst of economic changes and political transitions, from the tail end of the post-war economic boom to the beginning of the Reagan era. Pennies minted during this time were a symbol of everyday American life, used in countless transactions across the country. The 1980 Lincoln cent was minted in large quantities to meet the nation's demand for small denominations. In fact, the Philadelphia Mint produced over 7.4 billion pennies that year, making the 1980 penny one of the more common coins in circulation. So, why so many? Simply put, pennies were, and still are, a vital part of daily commerce in the U.S., from buying candy to paying for public transportation. This high mintage means that most 1980 Lincoln cents aren't rare yet. So, how much is a 1980 Lincoln cent worth today? In circulated condition, these pennies are usually worth their face value, just one cent. However, things change when we look at uncirculated examples or those in exceptional condition. 
A 1980 Lincoln cent in mint state condition, graded MS-65 or higher, can be worth between $1 and $10. Exceptional examples with perfect surfaces or rare errors can fetch $50 or more at auction. Speaking of errors, rare varieties or minting mistakes can make your 1980 penny significantly more valuable. Look for on-center strikes, die cracks, or doubling in the lettering. Coins with such errors can command prices well over $10,000, depending on the severity and rarity of the error. Even something as simple as a double-struck coin, where the die strikes the coin twice, can increase the value substantially. A 1980 Lincoln cent with a prominent and clear error could be a hidden gem in your collection. But what about the future? Could the 1980 Lincoln cent become more valuable down the line? That depends on several factors, like the overall condition of your coin, the discovery of new error varieties, and the evolving interests of collectors. Most 1980 pennies are likely to remain at their current value, given the massive quantities produced. However, those in perfect condition or with unique errors could see an increase in value over time as they become harder to find in such pristine states. So, should you keep or sell your 1980 Lincoln cent? If you have a high-grade example or a coin with a rare error, it might be worth getting it graded and holding on to it. If your penny is in average circulated condition, it's probably worth more for its sentimental or historical value. Remember, while most 1980 pennies aren't worth much more than face value, the joy of coin collecting comes from discovering those rare finds and learning about the history behind them. Next up. Today we're focusing on the 1969 Lincoln cent with no mint mark. Could this common penny be a hidden gem in your collection? Stick around to find out. The 1969 Lincoln cent, like all pennies from Philadelphia, does not carry a mint mark. It was struck at the Philadelphia Mint, which produced over 1.1 billion of these pennies that year. So why was it minted? Simply put, America needed a lot of pennies for everyday transactions during this period. The 1960s were a time of significant change, from the civil rights movement to the space race. The penny, featuring President Abraham Lincoln, remained a staple in American pockets, symbolizing the nation's history and its everyday economy. The Lincoln cent design itself, featuring Lincoln's profile on the obverse, has been in circulation since 1909, making it the longest-running coin design in U.S. history. The reverse side with the Lincoln Memorial was introduced in 1959 and stayed until 2008. So, is the 1969 Lincoln cent valuable? In general, most 1969 pennies found in circulation are worth their face value, just one cent. However, there are exceptions. The value of these coins can rise if they are in uncirculated condition or display unique errors. An average circulated 1969 penny is usually worth no more than its face value. But if you have a penny in mint state MS-65 or higher, it could be worth between $10 and $100, depending on its condition. The key to unlocking higher value is finding coins with minimal wear, clear details and a strong strike. Here's where it gets interesting. The 1969 Lincoln cent is especially notable for its error varieties. One particular type, the 1969 double die obverse, is extremely rare and highly sought after by collectors. A true 1969 double die obverse can fetch tens of thousands of dollars at auction. What makes it so valuable is the doubling on the front of the coin, particularly on the words liberty and in God we trust. If you think you have one, it might be worth getting it authenticated by a professional grading service. Other less dramatic errors like die cracks, off-center strikes, or filled dies can still increase a penny's value to anywhere from $100 to $1,000, depending on the visibility and severity of the error. So, how many people want to buy a 1969 Lincoln cent? While there isn't a massive demand for regular 1969 pennies, collectors are always on the lookout for high-quality specimens or rare error coins. Online marketplaces and auctions often have listings for these coins, and the price can vary greatly depending on the coin's condition and any unique characteristics. If you have a 1969 penny in near-perfect condition or with a rare error, you could see some serious interest from collectors. What about the future value of the 1969 Lincoln cent? As with many coins, the value depends on rarity, condition, and market trends. 
coins in mint state or with rare errors will likely appreciate over time, especially as fewer high-grade examples remain in circulation. But for the average 1969 penny, it's unlikely to increase significantly in value unless you hold on to it for decades or discover a new variety that catches collectors' eyes. So, should you keep or sell your 1969 Lincoln cent? If your coin is in excellent condition or has a unique error, it might be worth holding on to or getting it graded. For regular circulated pennies, the sentimental or historical value might outweigh the financial gain. Remember, coin collecting isn't just about making a profit. It's also about the thrill of the hunt and discovering a piece of history. Next up. Today we're zooming in on a small but mighty coin, the 1989 D. Lincoln cent. What makes this penny so intriguing? And is it really worth more than its face value? Let's dive in. The 1989 D. Lincoln cent was minted at the Denver Mint, one of the major mints in the United States. Over 5.3 billion of these pennies were produced, making it a very common coin at the time. So, what's the story behind this coin and why does it attract so much attention? This penny features the iconic image of President Abraham Lincoln on the obverse side, a design that's been in circulation since 1909 to commemorate Lincoln's 100th birthday. On the reverse you'll find the Lincoln Memorial, which was introduced in 1959 and continued until 2008. So, what's special about the 1989 D. Penny? Well, for most collectors it might seem like an ordinary coin. However, there are always exceptions and that's where the excitement comes in. Collectors are particularly interested in high-grade versions of this coin, especially those that have been perfectly preserved over the decades. High-grade, uncirculated 1989D Lincoln cents, especially those graded MS67 or above by professional grading services, are sought after because they are relatively rare compared to the billions that were minted. The quality of the strike, the luster, and the absence of wear or damage make these coins valuable to collectors. Now let's talk numbers. Is this coin really that valuable? Generally speaking, a regular 1989D Lincoln cent found in pocket change is worth only its face value one cent. However, uncirculated coins in higher mint states can fetch anywhere from $20 to $2,000 or more, depending on the grade. The highest prices are reserved for those near-perfect coins. For example, a 1989D Lincoln cent in MS67 can sell for over $1,500 at auctions if it has exceptional qualities. These coins attract collectors who are looking to complete high-quality sets or invest in rare finds. But why do so many people want to own this coin? For most collectors, it's about the thrill of finding a near-perfect specimen from a common year. A 1989D penny in mint state adds value to any collection, especially for those focusing on Lincoln cents. Moreover, people are always searching for coins with errors or varieties. Even though there aren't widely recognized errors for the 1989D penny, the possibility of finding one adds to the excitement. And let's not forget that holding a piece of history, even if it's just a penny, is always a fascinating experience. So, what is the current value and what does the future hold for the 1989D Lincoln cent? Right now, regular coins in circulation have no special value beyond their face value. However, higher-grade coins in mint condition can fetch premiums today, and there's always the potential for their value to increase over time, especially if fewer examples in top condition remain. Coins like the 1989D penny may not seem like much now, but the world of coin collecting can be unpredictable. Who knows what trends could emerge in the future? So, should you keep your 1989D Lincoln cent? If it's in great condition or you think you might have a high-grade example, it's worth holding on to. You might also want to have it graded to see if it could fetch a premium in the market. But if it's just an average coin from your change jar, you can always save it for sentimental value. Remember, collecting coins isn't just about the money. It's about the passion, the history, and the stories these tiny pieces of metal can tell. Next up. Today we're zooming in on a small but mighty coin, the 1989D Lincoln cent. What makes this penny so intriguing? And is it really worth more than its face value? Let's dive in. The 1989D Lincoln cent was minted at the Denver Mint, one of the major mints in the United States. Over 5.3 billion of these pennies were produced, making it a very common coin at the time. 
So, what's the story behind this coin and why does it attract so much attention? This penny features the iconic image of President Abraham Lincoln on the obverse side, a design that's been in circulation since 1909 to commemorate Lincoln's 100th birthday. On the reverse you'll find the Lincoln Memorial, which was introduced in 1959 and continued until 2008. So, what's special about the 1989 D penny? Well, for most collectors it might seem like an ordinary coin. However, there are always exceptions and that's where the excitement comes in. Collectors are particularly interested in high-grade versions of this coin, especially those that have been perfectly preserved over the decades. High-grade, uncirculated 1989D Lincoln cents, especially those graded MS67 or above by professional grading services, are sought after because they are relatively rare compared to the billions that were minted. The quality of the strike, the luster and the absence of wear or damage make these coins valuable to collectors. Now let's talk numbers. Is this coin really that valuable? Generally speaking, a regular 1989D Lincoln cent found in pocket change is worth only its face value one cent. However, uncirculated coins in higher mint states can fetch anywhere from $20 to $2,000 or more, depending on the grade. The highest prices are reserved for those near-perfect coins. For example, a 1989D Lincoln cent in MS67 can sell for over $1,500 at auctions if it has exceptional qualities. These coins attract collectors who are looking to complete high-quality sets or invest in rare finds. But why do so many people want to own this coin? For most collectors, it's about the thrill of finding a near-perfect specimen from a common year. A 1989D penny in mint state adds value to any collection, especially for those focusing on Lincoln cents. Moreover, people are always searching for coins with errors or varieties. Even though there aren't widely recognized errors for the 1989D penny, the possibility of finding one adds to the excitement. And let's not forget that holding a piece of history, even if it's just a penny, is always a fascinating experience. So, what is the current value and what does the future hold for the 1989D Lincoln cent? Right now, regular coins in circulation have no special value beyond their face value. However, higher-grade coins in mint condition can fetch premiums today, and there's always the potential for their value to increase over time, especially if fewer examples in top condition remain. Coins like the 1989D penny may not seem like much now, but the world of coin collecting can be unpredictable. Who knows what trends could emerge in the future? So, should you keep your 1989D Lincoln cent? If it's in great condition or you think you might have a high-grade example, it's worth holding on to. You might also want to have it graded to see if it could fetch a premium in the market. But if it's just an average coin from your change jar, you can always save it for sentimental value. Remember, collecting coins isn't just about the money. It's about the passion, the history, and the stories these tiny pieces of metal can tell. Idea to hold on to it or consider selling it to a collector. Sealing the coin in a protective holder can help maintain its condition and potentially increase its value over time. The cost of grading might not be worth it for lower value coins, but if you believe you have a high grade example, getting it professionally graded could enhance its value significantly. To get the maximum value from your 1995 Lincoln cent, always handle it with care. Use gloves when examining it and store it in a cool dry place. Avoid touching the surface as oils from your fingers can damage the coin's finish. If you have multiple 1995 pennies, sort them by condition and keep the best examples safe. Even if it doesn't make you rich overnight, a well-preserved penny can be a nice addition to your collection or a small investment for the future. Thanks for joining us today. Do you have a 1995 Lincoln cent in your collection? Share your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon for more exciting coin insights. Until next time, keep hunting for treasure.